Hi everyone, welcome back to you, me and the family, or if you're a new here, welcome. Hi, I'm Hannah, a mum of four, ranging from 15 years down to a two-year-old, and we live in the southeast of England. I hope you all had a magical Christmas, had lots of fun, and kept very warm with this cold weather, and yeah. I want to say hello to all my subscribers. It's fantastic to see you all again. And I really do hope you had a magical Christmas. I really do. Everyone deserves it with the way things are going at the moment. But um, yeah, <laughs> I'll get on with the video, shall I? Today I had some spare money of £15 in my money tin from where I've sold a few items and then where I've been prepping my pantry. I've always had like a little bit of change left over and I've put it back in the tin and let it build up again. So I had £15 and I went to my local Lidl and I bought a few more bits for my pantry. For anyone that doesn't know, sorry bear with me one second. Sorry I've got little Nathan by my feet now running around. For anyone that doesn't know, I've been buying long life items that my family use, okay. I say that because I'm not just buying food willy-nilly. It literally is items we will use and we are continuously using them so they are being rotated through our meals of the week and all that lot. But today I've been to Lidl. I spent £13.15. So the change from this has gone back into my tin for my next haul. And the aim of this uh, shopping haul was to buy items that I can make a quick easy meal with so i went down the aisle with all the jars and all that lot and i will show you what i've bought and i'll tell you the prices that the items cost me as well so we'll start at the back sorry like i said i've got nathan by my feet i got two of the jars of their chicken of their tikka masala we always use a chicken tikka masala that's why i went to say it these are quick easy dinners Okay, if you're short on time, they're a great thing to have in the cupboard. If you're not exactly the best cooking at cooking, these are great. I just literally use these in the slow cooker with some chicken breasts. And then later on in the day, I put some veg in there as well because I tend to like vegetable curry more than meat. And these are 79p at the moment. So they're a great, easy staple to have in your pantry. I got four jars of the teriyaki sauce, they're 89p, the kids love this, they have chicken teriyaki when me and Steve have a stir fry and all I do is pour a jar of this or two, depending on how many children are having it, in a saucepan with some chicken, um, usually corn on the cob and sugar snap peas or mange too, cook it all up and then serve it with noodles. So again, a quick, easy dinner for the family. And then next to us, sorry, itchy eye. Next to us, I bought a couple of tins of mixed beans. I got two in water and then one in mild spice so that, uh, in a tomato sauce as well. Um, I got the mild one, uh, the mild mixed bean one, the spicy one so that I could make a chilli con carne and it would add a bit of spice to it without me having to buy like a chilli mix or add in extra chilli. And I've bought three tins of mixed beans so that it adds a bit of variety to our cooking. Beans are a great staple to have in the pantry to add protein, um, it bulks out meals really easily and fills you up for longer and they're good for you, they're full of fibre which is absolutely fantastic. Um, I am storing dry beans as well as tinned, but tinned are a great thing to have, quick and easy. Um, dried, yes, it does work out better financially, but if you don't have the space all the time, tinned is the way to go. And they were, uh, da -da -da -da, let's see the price on them. I'm pretty sure I can't find the price. I did write it on there. I think these were 69p and they were these ones were a bit cheaper they were 54p I'm pretty sure ah 63p there we go 
63p and they were 69p so it is worth getting a few tins of beans and then here um because i got chicken teriyaki like we do teriyaki sauce i thought i'll get some noodles these are long life they're great to have in the cupboard they store really well i mean they're good until 2024 so they're good for another two years just store them in a cool dry place a cupboard all you have to do is boil them up and they're great for stir fries um a quick and easy noodle dish or just a plain noodles with bean sprouts like a chow mein style so that's why i got them and they are at the moment 89p a pack and then i got some rice um, my little doesn't always have rice uh, like they're they're simply range so i grabbed two bags of these 48p i thought because i got the curry sauce i'll get the rice so that it makes a meal all i have to do is add some veg or some chicken or beef to it so it's quick and easy you just boil it up easy peasy and then i got some eggs unfortunately i did have a casualty so i had to throw that one but the eggs are all good um they store really well just because they got a best before on them doesn't mean you have to use them by that date the way you can test eggs to see if they're good is you fill a big jug or bowl with water you place the egg in there if it stays at the bottom it's great if it stands up on its end but still touches the bottom it needs to it's come into the end of its use by date if the egg floats discard it okay it is not good and the last thing you want to do is add a rotten minging egg to your cooking trust me i have done it plenty of times and oh once you've got that smell in your house it stays there for weeks it absolutely reeks so yeah <laughs> that's a little tip for you guys and the eggs at the moment are 169 for 10 and they're large eggs which is absolutely great sorry i'm shaking and i've got nathan by my feet um eggs quick easy full of protein you could do eggs on toast and then i thought i've got the eggs do the rice egg fried rice so again i thought of another meal there that was quick and easy sorry nathan's distracting me go on nate off you go so yeah by the looks of it i've got to wrap this video up sorry it's short and sweet and a bit interrupted but i've got the toddler ramming me with a wash basket now if you like this video please hit the like button for me and if you're new here please subscribe i'd love to have you part of our ever-growing youtube family i do have a lot of prepping pantry videos and i will be doing this quite a lot now because i am growing increasingly concerned about trying to keep my family warm and food in their tummies so buying a little bit every now and then is helping with my anxiety and worry about feeding them so i'll let you get on with your day <laughs> i've got a seat to this toddler that's throwing my tins around the floor now and i hope to see you again soon take care guys bye